Torah Yisrael. Yes. Uh, mommy, where does it say in the Torah? The Rosh Hashanah is Yom Tov. Where does it say? It doesn't. It doesn't. No way. You have a Jewish one. The plus you get the Torah Yisrael. Come in. Hey, now, Shiloh, that's how my brother Rosh Hashanah got he watches from Yinni, I mean, every day, he watches. If he watches, he watches. He watches, he watches. But he says, God cares about more. Why say Yom Hadil? So he cares about it. He's interested. In Why Yom Hadil? That the only direction of the to say, from the Mereisha Shantra, he does it, the Reishas of the Shona will be at the end of the year. She is saying, where is this Yom HaTid? We found the Pussy. Where's the Yom HaTid? She'll learn your Pussy and tell him. What's the Pussy and What? Where is the Khan that is hidden? Ah, must be. That's a Jewish. How come you have to have Buddhist Hakon? Figure out all. <coughs> I said a simple story. Since we know that Shuba, the Almighty loves us, and he created Shuba as a gift, he gave us the power of Shuba. He gave us the power of Shuba. He gave us the power of Shuba. Shuba is a tremendous power. Not even you, the great field is a temptation that gives us. Well, today in our world, they got the religion thing. And how do they guide us to the gurus and the, and the people? They got to come out of their box and, and somehow pull it to another world in their head in order to pull out of their problems. Out of this world, out of <coughs> All the world can do, even going to modern times, in the now, how to change my now. So now it moves the past and produces a possible future. But every minute, so now, I'm living in the now. What's your now? An animal now, of Taiva now, of the lust of them. I can improve that's what I want more now, my destiny of the now. You know what the now? Now, so you can change it. What do you like? I should do that. How do you get that? What do you want to get the good feeling? The good for it, the pleasure. Oh, yeah. Good. Well, it's only now. You got it, it's all. Do a few different people and say, I'd love to get the greatest thrill. So I'm going to kill somebody. I'm going to steal <coughs> the greatest thrill. I live in the now. It gives me a feeling. What's your feeling? Yeah, you're feeling good. I feel good. <coughs> I do all these terrible affairs. I feel tremendous. Mind you do me in trouble. What else would it be? I now find all kinds of ways of mind you do me in trouble. <coughs> Make it sweet. Mind you do me in trouble. That's okay. It's a sign of what? But make it feel in trouble. So when they live in the now, we have a different box. <clears throat> we want to change ourselves because we believe in this. We believe there's a good God in the world, this high moment, and we believe not only feeling good in the now, and the police are there only to protect us, not just to get the good, to catch the bad other people, not to steal my money, pass a little bit of us. But it's now, I believe in this. In this, in this. I don't have it now. I have this means no time. No go on, let's be channels go to the end. Therefore for me, the beginning and the end is very important. Because the beginning and the continuation of the end the end is, is part of the beginning. I don't have to live in the now. I don't cut myself off from the beginning to, to be only in the now, but that would be animalistic. Well hard to I explain is according to the formula that we're forced by the bris with the Kodesh Baruch that he gave us a stamp, he says, but you're a Jew. Not a Jew, dead or alive, you're going to there. Not this world, the next year, world. not that. Remember, you're forced into the box, you can't change the box. Once you're in that box, right? So, there has to be a way that's going to force us to change. That, that we just can't be, okay, so what's going to force us to change? How we're going to get this person to change? And change we know means more. If I say I want to be better and learn more, I say, what are you going to change this year? I want to learn more to become better to say that. That's not a real, that's just a, a little better change. 
and that's the look of it. And you do a little bit, you do a little bit. So I'll be a little more about it. I'll come late this morning. I'll be a little earlier. I'll learn a little more, a little more in you. That's not happening. I've got to keep the change. The whole change. I mean, how do you, what's the only thing that makes it go? What's the point? Come as a Jewish mind. Abu. Abu. That's it. 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 Must be. I'll be saying. That's the important thing. It must be important. So it must be when Hashem is Maya. It must be when Hashem is Mishpah also. It can't be the world is without Mishpah. But it's just giving and giving and what we want. That must be the time when you have to have a half work to change. A half work to change must be by definition. <coughs> Especially the past and the future is, is all part of life. I mean, you explain to the public time, you would cry every time that the Shema is also the money out to the Lord. The money you gave is going to come back. Go, wow, I, I won't be able to do sure. I'll get the same to Shema. What about the Jew? I got to do something now. That's a force to change. Uh, more uh, has to be a qualitative thing. I think that uh, they brought them soon. Uh, you have to have a Buddhist Hakam here. You have to have a Hakam here. You have to have a Hakam here. Then the Hakam on a stretch that when it says any action in the nation should not stretch. That I just want you. It's a force to change. Maybe Rabbi Yitzhak says everything. Did you like it? I'm not sure there's too much. It's not much good in that. He can change once, make a big effort to change. With all the forces of wishing, with all the pleasures that you have, with all the things. Because in the force of change, you must have what? You must have. Also, that you're going to get pleasure if you do change. Every day is it's hanging. And every day is in and out, and I'm on a street. It's very good. If I know already I did my work and get all the you, and I get everything else. And then already in the din, before the din takes place, I can have a search which you want to change it. I'm asking a rock bonnet and something rock bonnet is helping you change the din. So once the din is changed, right? And now I know. I got my pack, I got a wire from the bank. <coughs> Somebody sent them my bank account for a shampoo. I can sit away without the Luca. I already got I already heard the good news. That the shop is going to give me money. Going to throw the food. So we get ah, good news, man. Huh? We get a Bosco comes out to Rabbi Yochan and says, "Listen, you learned Torah. You're going to need a good lot of money. You know, have a day." Wow, no pretty Rabbi Yochan being built this on the side. He runs to to learn. He knows he is the Bosco. He knows it's a future. He knows that I have those good souls. Uh, this was uh, my grandfather was so and so. My uncle was that. <coughs> so that nah, it must be that Swasabos works. So Swasabos works. That was it. We used to carry this. My grandfather said, Well, we're getting to the trouble. We used to carry this. So Swasabos helped me. This is the Christian term for Swasabos. Yeah, we used to carry it. Kind of trouble. We know that 
all the mitzvahs have to do. So that means you want to be healthy, you've got to shape up all you all all those all those all those sinews have to shape up all those mitzvahs in order and, and I read and I, I don't have all the mitzvahs. The coin has the guy who has a house has a market and the guy who has this has that and they have all kinds of freedom. You have a piece of land and you have to wait for the but since it's our rate of the I have to make sure that uh, my wife and my kids, you know, I, I get up to the menu and I'll do the bits of I can sleep in bed later. Right? Oh, you have to do every our rate was into I have to demand from them, I have to demand from myself. <laughs> the male, I have to change. So the forces change. I don't know how long this story is. What is the depth of, of what the mitzvahs are, how to transform them, how to put it into life, how to get the mitzvahs alive, how to make it vital.
put him in a conditioning machine, we'll chop him up, we we'll close him up, we'll go through this program, run him through. <coughs> HR Torah's 10 million people, 10, 6 million Jews go through their program. <coughs> what a change in their own future. It won't help. Why? Because in the end, they have another problem. Since our system is emotions and, and say, <coughs> so it's not enough, everything that's in the world is translated to emotions. Uh, every seichel, every virtue, it's very how do you do And the two sorrows of those are to We have an added feeling that we're doing that, which is, which is called, I do what's right, but not what I like. So how do I get pleasure in the right? And I have to line up my heart, my feelings with the right, with MS. There has to be another meter in man called Dashiell. There's another feeling of spiritual and called Yaakov. A feeling of, 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 I'm okay, I'm correct, you can't fake it out. Say, now I have to be associated with you in your life and you you're okay. But when you get to the soul, the soul's not searching. There's only one way out. Hashem created the human being and the Jew in particular. Everything is perfect and, and it works only if you follow this formula. You get the most, the only way it works is to follow this formula. Without this formula, you're disjointed and you're dislocated. You dysfunction. Maybe the other person function. And you're, dis- you're not getting the maximum. Really tell the story. I tell it a million times. Of ten guys trying to carry a, a piano or a safe, uh, etc. Et et this old man comes along and carries. He knows how to get the balance. It's not a show. You know how to balance. We're going to fix it. What's the school? You know, he carries the big empty train. And he knows how to put on his back. To know the right thing, how to get the maximum out of the soul and body is the third is the next one. But also to build the mind, to say now, that the feeling of, of right is the best feeling you can get. You get a mitzvah, it's a feeling you can't get another one. Look, and like you said, there's no greater taiva than the taiva of the third. Listen to me. There's no greater taiva in the world than the taiva of the A taiva for looking. That's why at the end of time, there's going to be a war of religion. A war of ideas. And we learn Torah, learn Biyan, we have the ideas in the way. Hold the money in the world, hold out. But we have the Midos, which has to do with the ideas, because the Midos and ideas work together. Not a mystery. It has to be a unification. The Shem is one. We have to have the unity, but you need to mix it that unity is together. Anyway, so we're different than the Goyim, that we have a set of rules. We have to train ourselves. What is right. That's why we have Das Torah. We have the right Das Torah. That good thing that a lot of people had, Shaul had Kina against Dona Malavi, and Siat What is that? He had that thing that he had. He was able to get Shiat to Shmaya. He had a certain caution. There used to be a fight with people with, with the, I don't know who it was. With the Chofa Sayyid son. He says, don't fight with him. This is why she loves him. Because he tells the Chofa Sayyid, yes, Rashi. You won't win. Yes, Rashi. The certain leaders, the spiritual leaders, they develop. Not just learning Torah, I got my smart kid, and I'm going to go into a fire mission, and I'm going to be a good share. I'm going to say, I'll get a call. I'll get a rabbi rushing on me. There's a certain Rashi, a certain endless. That is my wife's weakness, the sneeze works, and I love the words. There's a certain issue that I developed. It's like you have a whistle. And we hear there's a whistle that only dogs hear. There's a certain basco that comes into Shemayim. You hear the basco coming out now from Horeb and say, Oh, you're the punish of You hear that? Why? But you hear what you're saying. Because my mother, one time, didn't eat the black kosher meat. The male is my tongue in my leg or my ear. And the male, uh, uh, it affected me. I don't hear the spirituality. One day, oh, then we have to hear the basketball. And we have a certain sensitivity. And we don't even have basketball in Iran. We don't talk to Malachim anymore. These are people talk to Malachim. They say it's away. Our sensitivity is not dead anymore. Oh, but I'm the good Lanor. I've got a good spark. Mm-hmm. How much your Shemayim do you have? We have that, that sensitivity that makes the difference of learning thoroughly sure. But a guy who has a 
Where do you learn? I learned a yeshiva called Torah Lush. I said, what quality? First thing that's fine. Torah Lush. I want you to hear this. The fine for me, Torah Lush. Tell me, how do they train you, especially in that yeshiva like Torah Lush? I said, you don't have to answer me. Tell me tomorrow. They're going to run back and ask them, yeah, I don't like Torah Lush. First of all, you know, kind of Lush. You know, all this is a <coughs> but there's a sensitivity of those that learn to learn of Tarlish. A certain sensitivity of MS, natural sense, a certain sensitivity of 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 newness, of seeness, of your your mind. And when the body and the souls is in the right proportion, those are the things of the new motivation. Those are the feelings that line up the feelings of the extreme. If you work for years and years in the whole inner being, only then you line them together. To make a long story short, we have a lot to work to do before we You don't have to rely upon the Chachamim who figured out who Megala the Sod, the Torah Shem, our Beth Hashem, of our Rosh Hashanah. And there's a Gezeris HaKosu called all the reasons are nice that's for Shabbos <coughs> but it's Xeris HaKosu Yerim Hadid of blowing the shofar which means you're machni yourself there's somebody above you and you're not alone <coughs> who's alone in the world Hashem can you be alone in the age of not cloud no way what that is your rough men of much power the lunch problem. God is the master. We wear a yarmulke in order to know there's something about it. Take it off. Free Take it off. Ramea says you're okay. What you want to have to There's a certain physical thing, Chachom, to physical, that in order to help us in the spiritual, help us in physically to know there's something above us. That will affect our spirituality because it feels there's something above us. So Chachamim have all these, in all these homes, at the end of all these people, in order for us to grow. We say Simoni Milsa, Rosh Hashanah, there's a reason for it. Somehow we need those psychological things. We don't know exactly how the mind works, we don't have any idea. But this is how it works. We have to know, we have to rely upon the Chachamim, we have to start working, now, the Shufa, the Guru now, to my old Torah, to know about the Xerus, Sarkozy. Ashley, oh, no, they had to roll, was that your name? Knows about it, that's how much. Understand the depths, the Choch of Shufa, the power of Shufa, the Matona of Shufa. Use it. The Matona of your Jew. And you have the bris, the goyim don't have that. They don't have shofar. They don't have the sotim about them. And uh, they don't have all these bris offerings. And we go first, and they have all these things. They have all these things that God's got about you. Shame! Hello! I'm talking. Shame! Look at all the matonish you have. You have life. Use it. The power of life. Have a wonderful yeshiva, dash me yeshiva. Take advantage of the power of, of learning the chmal of people who are in the same way. The power of a chavah, the power of a chavah. Don't do that. It's an eternal strength. And it gives you strength to be true to grow. What do you gain from the experience of Rosh Hashanah? This year never had before. To make a overall total that's going to change. With all the knowledge you learn now in the Gemara, and you're smarter now, and you know more now, show me the change. Not better, a total change. Very hard to change. But very easy. Anyway, what I wanted to bring out is that basically. Uh, 
a few lines of Rachel. Your understanding of Rosh Hashanah, understanding of Shul Hashanah, Malchus. I'll just add another one. The Anshe Knesset HaKvinu, when they wrote the Siddha, train us and tell us how to look and give the feelings and values of things when we shout out. And if you want to affect the Ratzon, Chazal is so smart. You learn you have to speak. Talk, talk, to, talk to yourself. Talk to your inner being. When you pray, you're talking all to yourself. Hear what you're saying. Respect to you. Have to hear what you're Deal with your heart, the expression of your As now supported, this is one of our greatest places of the The Tehillim is power. The power. Now, you missed the last thing. On your own people, feeling and understanding. Almighty gave us so many gifts, so many wonderful things. And you're going to offer us, you offer us life, you offer us what can you do for life, what can you do for life, what can you do for life. I'm trying to think how I can increase your quality of the kids. I'm talking to Shas Kwan. How would you increase the quality of the kids? I think you about every day, every two hours here, of course, the, a lot of other people who come from other societies. Oh, Rabbi! Why do you want to do? Oh, you have time, no time. Why don't they have time? And what is at night? And it may not be much as it is. At night, and all this has shot here. Those that have time, what do they do with it? I think they learn, but they follow the other way, but they're learning effectively and efficiently. We're trying to get those four hours to be more efficient. Start to build according to a five month or six month run. Locked in time. You require everyone to be here. Those that want to come and join the work, but everyone has to be here. If you want to listen to the shit, we don't want to let you We have option. Option. Anyway, the future looks beautiful. So is this, which is the great future. Shem is going to give us more life, more energy, more pep, another chance to live again, to do the mitzvahs, to learn his Torah with zest and effort and zeal and all energy we have. The chance to change, use the power of the Torah, the power of mitzvahs. Hashem is going to use that dying, the, 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 uh, the bond, the atomic energy we have in mitzvahs. To give us the holiness, the growth. What can we ask for? They just ask to change a few little values and things. And cobweb, antiquated, long fossil ideas that only cause you hurt and trouble and pain and you don't produce them and they're productive. Just change those, those things and add the positive Torah way. Rely upon God. Rely on the Hamba. The whole trick of me anyway is just built upon the half of my They all know the trick of the Rely on them how to do and how to win. Simply speaking, when you come to Rosh Hashanah, when you come to Rosh Hashanah, she asking Hashem, Hashem, help me. Help me. Mercy, I want to live. Life. Okay, so you say, now I'm a Kaaba, I accept upon myself to I make a commitment that I am now going to title the Torah, do all your mitzvahs. You're my God and a commitment. You have no time now for tshuva because it's late. Tshuva later. Although first you should have tshuva. And then your slate is clean and then you come to the king, have a clean slate and you mean now, we don't do that. We come to God, 
with a with a with a pack of uh, sins that have no end. Can we play a game called "You're my Melech and you're my Abba"? Help me, help me. And uh, since I admit that you're my Abba and you're my King and I'm your slave, therefore give me good life, life, life. What really should be is that. And I, when will I do tshuva? A little later, between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. If I need to, if, you know, if I didn't pass the examination, I'll have a second examination. So then I will, I will then uh, clean up my mess a little bit and start to study and fix my ways a little bit. Okay, you have Yom Kippur. So now, I want to explain something. Here. So therefore, now what you do, you know, so you have the, the blowing of the shofar. I said that the blowing of the shofar, although they give loads of reasons, but it comes down to Tzegzeres HaKlesha. <coughs> Why is it Tzegzeres HaKlesha? Because when I say, Melech, he's a Melech, you hear the shofar blows, does anybody, is there a shofar talking about, and I'm lo yachrodo, people don't get nervous. Oh, we blow the shofar all day long, nobody's nervous, nobody's excited. In those days, when there was a king, and you knew, they were in, they were in, the, de- in the forest, and they blow the shofar, you know, the army's coming, the, the police are there, so right, uh, the FBI is there, the CIA, and right away, and right away there's nerves, you know what I mean? They're blowing the show for the king. They no king. Uh, anyway, the kings that we know about uh, in England uh, with her episodes and, the, and who knows where. So the kingdom doesn't have that meaning anymore. <clears throat> so you can't see those are real reasons. It has to be Xer So we'll explain that a little later. Maybe tomorrow. But it's Xer Sakras to blow the show. What does the show for doing it blows? He said the show for blows gets the, gets the, gets the, uh, the uh, Malacha, uh, the Yetzirah, who's your, your, your person who's bringing all the things against you, gets nervous, and then there your din goes through. Okay. <clears throat> As we're asking Hashem for our benefit, we have this wonderful gift of Rosh Hashanah, the secret, the grain don't know, and we mentioned yesterday, it comes from uh, only drushes of the Chachamim. It's not a clear-cut uh, statement in the in the Torah about Rosh Hashanah Yom Hadin. <coughs> we have to rely upon the Chachamim. So we explained yesterday the idea that you, you rely upon the Chachamim. So it must be all the dinim of the Chachamim, how you have to do it. So now when it comes to Rosh Hashanah, what's the format and the shape you do? You accept upon yourself all Malchus Shammai. <coughs> You announce he's a Melech, he's the king, he's the king, you're a slave, he's the father, you're the son, and you're, you're, you make a commitment for the future. Okay. Now, as you're making this commitment, and you want to have this terrible, you want to pull out, and you want to have a good life, and a, a good year, and live long, which is a new year. So then you say, listen, I have the Chosovos, remember Kedis Yitzchak, remember this, remember the bris that we have, Okay, and then we also mention, you know what I mean? So, I want to explain today, in the language which I said yesterday, a chiddush. <clears throat> Normally when we say, and you're in trouble, so you're in trouble, what do you do? Chova, Sadaka, Tvila, charity, prayer, chuv, and, 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 uh, and pray, prayer. Okay. You've got to do something. She's in trouble, you say, you know who my father is? You know my grandfather was so and so so for his sake for his merit help me out and I say who I did look what I did I did this other myths I did the one time a good deed of charity whatever so I'm I'm the person that does an act and I'm asking for merits from 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 Takedis Yitzchak that he would he was Moshe Nefesh Yitzchak there Moshe Nefesh for for uh, Hashem and therefore those Chuyot remember me I want to change it Came according to my Hiddish yesterday that <clears throat> the Goyim have a time space called now, beginning and end now. The Jewish people, for us, there's a thing called eternity. <clears throat> eternity means that the future goes on forever. So, therefore, when I have the on, there's no time, there's no beginning and end. So, we also continue to the beginning. Therefore, for us, and <clears throat> Mitzrayim, the beginning of Jewish people, Abba Vino Mitzrayim, is all part of that time space of eternity that's going to be a continuation. I said, ah, this is so I got a devout What's the hint? And they said, when I'm saying now, look at the Mesiris Nefesh, ne- ne- the Mesiris Nefesh of, of Abba Vino with his son, really good. I'm really saying a different statement. I mean, they said, don't you see? That Amravino was Moshe Nefesh for you, God, and Yitzhak also, and those are in the, my genes. That's me. I have that power within me. 
I have that power with me. I come from the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's within me. And I want to reconfirm in myself that quality that they had, that I have it also. I can do it. Okay. Maybe not the poil, but the koach I have. And I have that. I want to reaffirm when I now say, I'm a kabbal old Torah omachu shamayim. I'm now a kabbal upon, I, I reconfirm in myself that what? That I'm ready to mismice in them because I have with me the mismice nefesh like Abravino did and Yitzhak did at the time of the of the. Now you have the other way around. Now we have, we say, what's going to happen to Rosh Hashanah? We say, Hashem, the whole world is going to announce that Hashem is the king all over the world. Oh, we're going to be a king. So what do I say? So then that will be by Teva, by nature, what's going to happen? Everybody's going to say, recognize Hashem. And I, I just think how, uh, and that I'm making a new air, air, air bus that has 600 people in it. They can fly to New York from Israel in, say, three to five hours. Three hours to New York. So just, can you picture a heavy, a whole apartment house sort of people, 800 people, oh, I don't know if going to want apartment house, but the whole family, 800 people just flying, a heavy thing like this, flying, I mean, can't find your it's mind-blowing. It's, 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 I mean, so, so that everyone will see the godless Hashem, the great, great miracles nobody ever saw, because it's happening, because everyone will believe in God. <clears throat> so where are we now? Really? Ah, because... We, the present and the past and the future is like one, it's very good. We are now accepting upon ourselves, Omar Hushan, how? Not by force, by our own volition. Ah, so then we said we did our own volition, and Abraham Vino did it, and we did it. So when the time will come, when everybody will see, we'll, we will say we have a different qualitative understanding and commitment to Hashem, that we have within us real Nesiris Nefesh and, and real understanding, our real commitment. So then we say everyone's going to have it, that's a thing for us in the now, like a force for the now, that we're not going to wait for then, that then is going to, they're going to, they're going to have Om HaShemayim. Because for the world, they live in the now. And when I say, Bechar to Bechayim, change yourself for life, so we're talking about, not the life that talking about following your type as you're lost in your knees and <clears throat> what do you want and what do you want. We're talking about Bahar Bahayim means following Hashem's will. That's what we're talking about. Anything else but God's will, following your own lust and desire, is what? Is is uh the not time. So therefore, for them who so they don't want to come to Yom Hadin, there's no need for Yom Hadin for them, I mentioned. <laughs> they try to wait when the time comes, we'll handle it. But for us, we want to, we want Mukhla that should be Yom Hadin. Because in order that we should accept upon us, I'll make a commitment, volition, with our own will. Oh, it's forced. Which we know it's Yom Hadin, but it's like our own volition. Because those days everybody will see and recognize. Here, even though every, we recognize, we know, but it's conceptual, it's abstract. The abstract becomes a reality. <clears throat> And then we have just before Rosh Hashanah, we have a, a wonderful thing. We have what you call Kol Nidra. Now that's a very interesting thing. A very beautiful thought. Here you have this guy who did terrible things with the Dorm and the Dorm, which are to us as reality. When you say a word, the animal is called those the animal is holy. And it has certain dinim and certain ramifications. It makes tumor, it makes this, it makes holiness. It has a chaloi shame, it's, it has value. Now, what are you going to do? You know, Untying and it's going to disappear. Lama Freya, what is what is that first thing? Okay, Lama Freya. What is it? Untied. It blows away. Disappears. And do tshuva and do the right system. What's going to happen? All the bad things that you have are going to disappear. <coughs> and and that's what we know that God. It, because actually, if you do all their methods that they do of changing yourself, see you change. So what? We have to change ourselves, but we need Hashem to agree of, of kapara, slich and kapara. And Hashem, by definition, is not a, I, we don't say, on Hashem, he says a salchon and a mochlon. Why salchon the nun? So, if you read the, the salchon, uh, it means a continual. His nature of his, that's not once he forgives and, and, and merciful, he's constant, what? <coughs> a soleach, forgiving, and a, and a, and a, and a mochlon, a constant. Not only that, what is Rachmanu? It's everybody tells you, but I gotta repeat it again. <laughs> Why is Hashem for It comes from the root called Rechem. The womb. In the mother's womb, 
the mother gives the baby what? Who the totality of existence, the care for the totality of the baby is from the womb of the mother. So we're talking about Hashem as a Rachman, he's merciful. We're talking about the totality. He's going to take 100% care of me. Like a mother takes care of his baby in the womb. So when we ask Hashem for Rachmanes, it's not, I did Hashem, give me no. We're talking about even a greater picture, a greater foreground, that a total Rachmanes, totally take care. Okay, I'm asking for one thing, I'm thinking of this thing, but he totally will take care of and totally forgive us for our totality. If we think of the greatest gift that we're getting, the gift of tshuva, the power of tshuva, the wonderful gift of Rosh knowing there's a Rosh Hashanah. When you give a, a, a matana tshuach la'odiyo, he gives us the matana of we know there's a Rosh Hashanah. He gives us the ability to be mukhrach to change. He makes the mukhrach change, we do it willfully. And now that we have the great light, the wonderful light of chai olam, of, 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 of wonderful pleasure of the next year, being able to live and make brachas. Imagine the brachas and the Eimach HaSimcha and Simcha Shal Mitzvah that greatest joy of Mitzvah and the greatest pleasure in the world the greatest time in the world is one of the greatest is, is, is the learning of Torah people think women are not true <clears throat> according, to, according to the Rambam your guy will go crazy to learn Torah because the pleasure of learning and understanding the depth especially if you have the Jewish Neshama is the time of, of, of learning Torah. And not in learning Torah, but putting the Torah to, to practice. And not only that, the sensitivity that nobody has, which I mentioned yesterday, which is what? The going back, the sensitivity of Yashu's trait, of truth, the being sonua, being modest, humble, God-fearing, those qualities of the, of the feelings that a person gets, it's only the very few habits of Jewish Neshama and we have those wonderful gifts in the world. We have these wonderful <coughs> pleasures that can exist in the world. It's all there. Drugs are going to be nothing. And as much as drugs are nothing, compared to the pleasure of Torah, crack, morphine, whatever you want to say, uh, whatever all those names are, whatever you want to say, the people run for spend billions of dollars for is nothing compared to the pleasure of Torah and the pleasure of Mitzvah. And the difference is, there it's only momentary, it's for a moment. The pleasure of Torah is forever. It continues, it's eternity from the beginning to the end. <coughs> How grateful we have to be. <laughs> that we are chosen to be Jews. Can we have this great source to be able to have Rosh Hashanah in the sense of, of that we feel confident Hashem going to take care of us. We have our clothing and we blow the shofar. Do! You know, but really, the Chiv of Shofar is true, which is Din. And it fits beyond our understanding is that there's no such thing as Din Din, when we're down and being cut up and beaten up and down. But in order to have, the, Hashem has Rachamim. So Tekiyah represents Rachamim, and Tekiyah is Rachamim. So you have Rachamim and Rachamim on two sides, which, which balance and somehow uh, uh, give the balance or the the synthesis within that it comes out the most beautiful thing that can be. Matot chalkeinu marim goelim. And I hope that people will, will get the pleasure of knowing what it is to fight for life in the Jewish way and the commitment that we have to make. As we said, I'll repeat it again, we said a thousand times, that this, that our, our big, uh, this uh, Salanta says, Ritzok Harvi, Ritzoni is Harvi, Ugevorasi Haskamasi. My, my will is my sword, and my strength is my commitment. How much of a commitment you're going to make to God? The depth of it. How much is it worth? To what degree you're going to do it is, is represented and felt on Rosh Hashanah. And when Hashem sees you have this commitment, as I said, my Kiddush, and what? You're saying, listen, God, I come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who, who committed themselves totally, totally. I have that within me, God. I'm making a commitment. Oh, you look at me, I'm making a commitment. It looks funny. But no, it's a total commitment. It's connected with the commitment of Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov. It's a commitment of Klai Israel. And therefore, have trust in me. Have trust that needs a little more, a little more energy. My commitment to Hashem. I want to be committed. And I said, okay, if you're committed, then we can start working on tshuva and doing the mitzvahs properly. I'm your boss. 
So you're not alone, you're not an individual alone. You listen to the Das Chachomim, the Das of the Torah. You talk, they found the secrets from the Chachomim of Rosh Hashanah Yom Hadin. And uh, as you as